Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mihir Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to talk about a topic based on modern exchange rate management system under which we are going to learn about fixed exchange rate system. Now in this video, we will be learning about the basic introduction about what is fixed exchange rate system, what are its features, the advantages and disadvantages. So let us see what is fixed exchange rate system. Now since 1973, after the introduction of flexible exchange rate, there have been many more exchange rates that have come up. One of them is fixed exchange rate system. Now, what is fixed exchange rate system basically? So, as the first point suggested that establishing a fixed exchange rate between two nations, practically one of a small nation and the other of a powerful industrial nation is known as fixed peg exchange. So let us take an example here. There is one nation, let's say Nepal, being a small nation and on the other side we'll take US being a powerful industrial nation. Here small nations currency will be or the exchange rate will be fixed at par with the powerful industrial nation let's say US. So when a small nation's uh, exchange rate is fixed with a powerful industrial nation it is known as the fixed exchange rate now a fixed or pegged rate is a rate the central bank or the government sets and maintains as the official rate of exchange so uh, let's take the example of india and us so if under uh, fixed exchange rate system just an example if under fixed exchange system India's rate is pegged with the US and let's say if the central government makes the or fixes the rate as one dollar is equal to 65 then no matter whatever will be the market situation the rate will remain fixed next a set price will be determined against a major world currency usually the US dollar but also other major currencies such as euro the yen or a basket of currencies will also be considered so when a small nation currency is going to be pegged it will be either pegged with the US dollar or euros or yen or a basket of various currencies and lastly it states that one country pegs the value of his domestic currency to the value of another currency so here the small nation okay it will peg I mean it will fix its domestic currency to the value of another powerful industrial nation so in that in the very first example which i have given nepal and us so in that case nepal will peg its value that is its domestic value to the value of united states that is nothing but the powerful industrial nation so that's what the brief about what is fixed exchange rate so it is nothing but when one or uh, one nation's currency is fixed or when one nation's rate of exchange is fixed with another powerful nation it is known as the fixed exchange rate system and here the rate is fixed by central government or the government or the central Okay, after the definition on the meaning, let us go through what are the various features of fixed exchange rate system. The very first feature is fixed exchange rate. Now, the exchange rate is fixed by the central bank or the country of the country in a fixed exchange rate system. So, this is already we discussed that the central bank will fix the rate of exchange. Here, the central bank stands ready to exchange local currency 
and foreign currency at a predetermined rate the rate which is already fixed at that rate it will exchange local currency and the foreign currency usually the exchange rate is fixed in a particular ratio with another currency so when the rate is determined it is always based on a ratio okay second the central bank interference that's the second feature of um, the fixed exchange rate that there will be interference by central bank in a fixed exchange rate system the predetermined rate may not match with the market equilibrium exchange rate there will be always difference so central bank has to interfere this is known as the central bank intervention now in order to maintain market equilibrium the central bank remains prepared to encro in order to maintain market equilibrium the central bank remains prepared to incorporate the excess demand or supply under a fixed exchange rate system for doing this the exchange the central bank must for doing this exchange the central bank for doing this exchange the central bank must hold with it a reserve stock of both foreign and domestic currency now the central bank can print its own domestic currency so holding stock of domestic currency causes no problem but the difficulty comes in holding sufficient amount of stock of foreign currency which is known as the foreign exchange reserve the quantity of reserve has to be large enough to accommodate all transactions of foreign currency for domestic currency that arises so in this case this a government interferes no doubt it interfere but it also has to keep a huge amount of reserve of foreign currency with them so when a country wants to exchange at a predetermined rate the government or the central bank has to keep that much amount of reserve with them that can further explain at point number 3 the reserve of foreign currency in order to carry out interventions it is necessary for the central bank to hold a large and adequate amount of foreign currency so if it wants to interfere or intervene the rate the bank the central bank will need to hold a large and adequate amount of foreign currency and lastly forceful devaluation if the country on continuous basis runs into deficit in the bop that is balance of payment the central bank will eventually run out of foreign currency so deficit in balance of payment means where the receipts are of the country is less and the payments are more so when the country runs into deficit the central bank will eventually run out of foreign currency and will fail to carry out the intervention since the reserves of foreign currency will reduce okay the government the central bank won't be able to intervene in such a situation the central bank will have to ultimately devalue its currency at that time the rate which was fixed will have to be devalued by the central bank so these were the basic features of fixed exchange rate system <clears throat> okay after the feature let us go through various merits and advantages a fixed exchange rate system now number 1 fixed and stable exchange rate since the exchange rate is fixed it is stable for a long period now as the name suggests and we already went through ahead ki the rate is fixed so the moment it is fixed there won't be too much of fluctuation it is stable and it will remain for a long period till the central bank holds the reserve if they have sufficient amount of gold reserve 
than uh, the foreign side, not gold reserve. But if they have sufficient amount of foreign reserve, the rate of exchange will remain stable and fixed. The next advantage is keep inflation low. Since the exchange rate has to be maintained stable, the monetary policy has to be stable and tight. This helps in controlling the inflation in the economy. So since the exchange rate remains stable and the monetary policy also remains stable, there won't be too much of price rise in an economy. So that helps you to control the inflation. Next is the international monetary is stable. Fixed peg helps in the smooth working of the international monetary system. Since the rates are fixed, since the monetary system remains stable, eventually both of them will help to smooth out the working of the international monetary system. Next, we have a reduction in economic crisis, a very important point. The fixed action rate system prevents monetary shocks. Why? Because there's not too much of volatility not too much of changes in the rate hence it helps to reduce the possibility of economic crisis the rates are fixed so there's no issue about fluctuity so no volatility will be there so there is less chances of economic crisis when fixed action rate system is used the next advantage is that this particular exchange system is very helpful for small nations next it promotes and it helps international trade that is again one of the other important advantages that fixation rate system has it helps you to promote international trade Now, with advantages, there are always with disadvantages. So, fixed action rate system also have few disadvantages. One, number one, continuous intervention puts heavy burden on exchange reserve. Now, as we have discussed, central bank needs huge reserves of foreign action in order to intervene. So, if the central bank keeps on continuously intervening, so it will put a lot of burden on exchange reserve in the sense the central bank will need to keep huge amount of foreign reserve which will again create a burden on the country. Second, country must have adequate reserve. Again, it is going according to the first point. So if you know central bank needs to intervene continuously, you will require huge amount of foreign reserve which will again turn out to be a burden for the country. Third, it fails to solve the balance of payment disequilibrium. Now, if a country goes into a deficit or if a country has deficit balance of payment, at that time, fixed action rate system will have issues. Issues in the case, the central bank will have to use up the reserves of foreign action which they have. Eventually, the rate which was fixed earlier will have to be devalued and that will again call a, cause a problem in the country. Next, it does not reflect the true value of the currency. Since the value of a smaller nation is always pegged with another nation, the actual and the true value of domestic currency will always hinder. Okay, so it will not reflect the true value of the domestic currency. Next, it may lead to the emergence of black market. Now, as everyone knows, ki if the currency is pegged with another currency and it is fixed, the rate is fixed and it is always based on your foreign reserve. So in order to, you know, get more out of it, there will be an emergence of black market, which will be a big problem for the country. And lastly, 
the last disadvantage of fixed dictionary system is that it can be expensive at times or even impossible to hold since the central bank has to keep huge you know huge exchange reserve so it is a very expensive mode and at times it will be impossible to hold such a huge amount of exchange reserve so this was basically the fixed exchange system which came about so we went through the meaning the features the advantages and the disadvantages